Okay, Dr. Arjik Majin with Duke Spine Institute and Spine Scans Exposed. Once again, talking to you about some of the hanky panky that goes on in the spine industry. Today, we're going to talk about an article that just came out related to two companies fighting each other over who gets to screw you, literally. So, these two companies produce spinal implants, screws, and rods. And what we've learned so far, hopefully, from listening to my Spine Scans Exposed segment is that most patients with back and neck pain and herniated discs, they don't need these screws and rods. They don't need metal plates in their neck anymore. But we call these things spinal implants. When you put spinal implants in the neck for an anterior cervical discectomy infusion, we're talking about cages made out of peak or metal, sometimes cadaver bone, and we're talking about metal plates usually with screws that bolt the plates onto the spine. Each of these screws costs hundreds of dollars. The plate's over a thousand bucks. The cages are over a thousand bucks a piece. When you start getting into the lower back, things get bigger, screws get bigger, and bigger screws mean more money. Screws like this cost around 1,300 bucks a piece, and the cage itself is anywhere between four to five thousand dollars. So we're talking big money when it comes to spine surgery and spinal implants. So here we have an article about Globus Medical sues Life Spine alleging patent infringements and violations. What's the big deal? Well, basically the big deal is these companies are literally fighting in court, suing each other over who's going to get the money and profits when it comes to surgeons putting screws and cages into your body. So stop right there. Why are we putting screws and cages anymore into people's spines? Well, now we have endoscopic spine surgery, much better option, tiny incision. You don't have to open the body up. There's no bleeding. There's no scar tissue. There's no removing bone. And most importantly, you don't need screws and rods. So how do we avoid getting screws and rods put in? You've got to find a surgeon who knows how to do endoscopic spine surgery like Duke Spine Institute. Check out this endoscopic spine surgery. We're making a tiny incision. We're going in with a little metal tube. We're actually repairing the herniated disc or bulging disc to get rid of the pain. And look, there's no need to put in screws and rods or cages. So we could help these companies. They don't need to fight each other anymore when nobody's putting in screws and rods. Thanks, Dr. Duke Majin. Hope you enjoyed the segment on Spine Scans Exposed.